So chest wall deformities take on two major forms. One where the chest is curved in excessively, called a pectus excavatum, and one where the chest is caved outwards, called a pectus carinatum. Treatments are vastly different. For pectus carinatum, we can normally treat that without surgery, particularly at the key age group from 11 to 15 when the chest is soft and pliable, and we can push that in with a brace, just like braces on the teeth. And the kids wear that for a variable period of time depending on the, the chest wall compliance. It's also important to see children even at a younger age with those defects because I can keep an eye on them and assess them and get them referred early for physiotherapy assessment, for example. Pectus excavatum, or the caved in chest, is largely a surgical correction performed with a nuss bar that's passed behind the sternum through two small incisions laterally, and that pushes the sternum forward. The same key age group's important. The older you are, you might need one or two bars put in, or you might need a modified Ravitch procedure, which is the old fashioned procedure before the nuss bar came along, where we'd made a small incision centrally and cut some cartilage surgically to allow the chest wall to become more mobile. And then the nuss bar is passed behind, but that corrects it. Children in general are very happy after the procedures performed because it makes a huge improvement to self-esteem that a chest wall looks normal. I find with children particularly with chest wall deformities they think they're the only one or they think they look odd. But quite frankly, if you watch the swimming trials on television for the Olympics or a competitive sporting event, you'll find particularly the males may well have some slight chest wall deformity and they swim quite well. So it often is not a physical impairment and they're not the only ones with it. 